we have attitudes and we have thoughts and opinions and ways of seeing that have been operating uh, all our lives, so much so that they're invisible to us. They're invisible, but they're visible to other people. Other people know what attitudes you have and even what negative attitudes you have. But we're invisible because we've always lived inside them. We've lived inside this circle of opinions and values and thoughts that we think are true. Well, they're not true. They're just the ones we happen to have. And a lot of them come from very dodgy sources, like mom and dad. <laughs> or even worse, you know, the ads on the TV. You know, so, so these... And so he says, we have to examine them. Here, do this. Come on. Go like that. Do that to your head. <laughs> These are your thoughts and opinions in here. Now, all your life you've lived within this space of your own thoughts and opinions, haven't you? Right? Can you imagine cracking out? Can you imagine entertaining other opinions? It's a very good exercise to entertain opinions that you hate for a while. <laughs> if you're a left-winger, entertain right-wing opinions. If you're a right-winger, entertain left-wing opinions. You see, you see, you think one of them's correct and one's not correct. They're just opinions. Can you do that? If you love classical music and hate rock and roll, change it. If you love rock and roll and hate classical music, change it. Can you do it? Can you do it? It's a good exercise. <clears throat> well, you don't have to do that unless you really like stuff like that. That's where you free yourself from, from habitual uh, thinking. <clears throat> 